Hello Capricorn, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what's coming towards you in love. Um, so let's jump right into the reading. As always, keep in mind these are meant to be general. They will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising, um, any other sign of significance. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So let's see what we get for you Capricorn. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Capricorn, please. For Capricorn in love. All right, one more. For Capricorn. What's coming towards Capricorn in love? Who, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? Creative, number 13, artistic and clever. Someone's thinking outside the box. Someone could be an artist, photographer, intuitive, instinctive and perceptive, number 43. Okay. This could be, um, I'm getting someone that's like not eccentric. Open minded. They're very open minded. They think outside the box this person. They could have a creative job. Could be creative on the side. What else do you need to know? They don't think things like it's like they don't think about things like other people. We'll see. What else can you tell me about Capricorn and what's coming towards them? Moving forward. You're moving forward into a new chapter. This is a new chapter for you, Capricorn. I heard finally. <laughs> I heard someone say finally when I said that. Okay, closed off. Being closed off me blind you to the truth and block me opportunity. Okay, so I feel like you are ready for a new chapter, but at the same time, you might be a bit resistant um, to new love, perhaps. I have budding romance at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's something new coming towards you. It's just, are you ready for it? Is it time for you to jump into something else? That kind of energy. Can I get some insight, please? Guidance messages for Capricorn regarding love, who or what is coming towards Capricorn in love. Who or what is coming towards Capricorn in love? Okay, let's see what we get. Ten of Wands reverse, the Hermit, Virgo energy. Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune reverse, and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. Okay, so, oops. Um, so, oh wow, I just picked up the deck, the Wheel of Fortune's at the bottom of this deck. Um, so what I'm getting here with this Wheel of Fortune reverse is almost like this is a timing issue. Um, because I feel like you are not carrying any more burdens. You're ready to let the past go. Ready to cut out anything that has kept you... Um, held back almost some of you I feel like are doing a lot of soul searching thinking finding yourselves again with this hermit could be dealing with a Virgo as well and it's almost like um whatever's coming towards you in love here you might you know be just a bit undecided right maybe it doesn't feel like it's the right time for you or something like that Let's, let's see what we got. Tell me about this Ten of Wands reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands reverse? Death, Scorpio energy, yeah. I feel like you've closed a cycle. You've, you know, there has been an ending here with death. There has been a change, a good change, I feel. Eight of Wands, yeah, and you're ready to move forward. So I feel like, yeah, Ace of Wands at the bottom. So this is you moving forward. You're ready for something new, Capricorn. A lot of you are looking towards the future. Tell me about the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Five of Pentacles. 
sometimes when I get the Hermit and the Five of Pentacles, I think about someone literally like blocked or like they're far away, they're outside in the cold, far away from everyone. Tell me more about the Hermit. Yeah, so I feel like um, there's guarded energy here. There's Eight of Swords. Maybe you're just thinking a lot about what's happened, even though you're ready for the future. Maybe you can't help but think about the past or you're not quite done with the healing process. Um, maybe you're just not easy to approach. And also, that was my dog, by the way. And also, you don't find it easy to trust. Because the Nine of Wands is kind of wary. Um, their guard is up. And if you were mistreated, abandoned, if you've had difficulties with past partners, then it might be not so easy to jump into something else. The hangman. But I think in your mind, you still, you, you think about when you can be happy. What will it take? Who will it be? Who will it be that will make you smile again? That's what I heard. That will make you smile again. What's this? Page of Wands. Yeah, so this would, I mean, if, if this is what you're wondering, if this is you, Capricorn, that I'm connecting with, you're watching this video, and you're like, that's me, that's what I'm thinking, then the Page of Wands is a very important message because the Page of Wands is willing to go out there. They're willing to take risks. They are a bit bold, almost a bit like naive in their boldness. Um, they're more doers than thinkers. And I feel like you're not you're not really thinking about this is definitely a thinker. Hangman, the hermit. I'm also getting that someone could be interested in you, whether you know it or not. There could be someone, you know, someone maybe you've caught their eye. With the page of wands maybe they want to approach you and you know it won't be easy because i feel like you're a bit closed off right now not to say that there's no reason for you to be like that but this is just what i'm seeing tell me about the two of pentacles why is the two of pentacles here the emperor aries energy tell me about the two of pentacles Why is it two of pentacles here? Yeah, I feel like someone is definitely going to be coming forward here. Maybe a masculine energy in Aries or Virgo, Scorpio. Does not have to be, but those are the signs here. Uh, water sign. I feel like someone's going to want to talk to you. And I feel like you're going to be kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to talk to this person or... <laughs> Um, this could be somebody you work with, go to school with, work on projects, hobbies with. Could be a friend of a friend. Um, you can meet them at a work function or something like that. But there's someone definitely interested in you and I don't feel like you're there yet or perhaps you're going to be debating whatever this is with the Page of Cups. It's something very uh, early with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is like, hey, um, I really like you. You want to go out sometime? <laughs> you know, very, very uh, early interactions there so why is the wheel of fortune reverse four of swords and the devil there you are capricorn yeah i feel like um i feel like a lot of you maybe you just need to rest and heal a bit more um maybe you just need more time a little more time and this you could tell this person that tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse yeah the fool there's that three of pentacles again it, ten of pentacles at the bottom of your curious um i feel like some of you you're definitely headed somewhere new with the fool you are on the right path capricorn to start a new cycle i feel like deep down You've been working hard to get to this point. Um, 
I feel like you are going to meet someone at work or there's someone, you know, in school or somewhere where there's like multiple pe like groups of people mingling and stuff. Uh, maybe you're going to meet someone at an art artistic type of place, um, like a festival or something like that. But I feel like a lot of you are ready to take a risk, but um, like maybe maybe uh, mentally, but not emotionally or something like that. Um, because you did, you did go through a lot. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't really make sense to just jump into something right away. But I feel like what Spirit is trying to say here is there is something new for you if you are open to it. Um, if you are willing to be a little vulnerable and take a little bit of a risk, then there's definitely something completely new for you around the corner. You're going to be moving forward into a new chapter. This is going to be a new chapter for you. Uh, if you want it, you know, but the wheel of fortune is reversed, which tells me maybe you're not quite ready for this opportunity, or maybe it just doesn't feel like the right time, but maybe this should be your goal, you know, because I feel like a lot of you are ready to let something go. If you're not there yet, this is like step one, <laughs> because I feel like once this door closes, another one will open. And I feel like you've, you've maybe, you know, have manifested this in a way. You know, I, I do see something very, very nice here with the with the fool. I also am getting with this intuitive card I was looking at. It, I was like, maybe there's going to be something like during a new moon, perhaps. Or a full moon, something with moon cycles. Um, it's like they're, they're going to help you. It's going to help you with this opening up because right now I feel like maybe you're a bit closed off and you could of course flip this this could be the person coming towards you feeling all of those things that I just explained to you um, but yeah that's what I see for you Capricorn um, I hope that this resonated for you I hope you enjoyed the reading uh, if you did hit that like button subscribe so you could see more readings from me I would love to have you. Um, thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, subscribes. I really appreciate it. All of the kind comments. Thank you so much. Um, and I will see you all hopefully very soon with another video. Take care.